Hey everybody, welcome to CG Voice by CR and Designers. This is Chetan, and in this my tutorial, we are going to create a decent looking hard surface model. So, without further ado, let's get started. To create this model, you need to add a cylinder with 48 words. After that, you need to adjust the scale of the cylinder along the Z axis. Then, you need to select its top faces. Then, you need to use the extra operation and adjust the thickness and offset amount. Then, one more time, use the extra operation and adjust the offset amount. And one more time use the extrude operation and delete the faces. Delete bottom faces also. Now go to the top view and select these faces with the shift select and delete them. Then you can select these edges with shift select and use the breach operation. Then select these edge loops and use the fill hole or you can use the breach edges also. Now you need to use your multi cut tool and you need to create this kind of cuts. So just observe the process carefully so you can understand how you need to create the cuts on the model to maintain that structure. Then you can select this face loop and you can delete this face loop. After that you can select these faces and you can delete all these faces. So we will get only this part at there. And we can easily work on this small part. Use the multi cut tool and create cuts in this way. Then one more cut in this way and one more cut in this way. Then you can select all the faces and then use the mirror tool and then adjust the merge threshold at there. So you can get the right symmetry add there. Then you can hit the control 2 to check the subdivision. Then add few loop cuts and then hit control 3 to check your model in subdivision. You can see I need to add few more loop cuts out there on the model to maintain its form. So one more time you can use your multi cut tool and you can add this kind of loop cuts. Now you need to use the redirection of each flow. So you need to create the cut like this, then you need to select these edges and you need to dissolve these edges by hitting the control X. You can see these unnecessary words, you need to dissolve these words by pressing control X. Then you can select this edge loop and use the edge slide add there. And then you can use the target weld add here to merge the words in this way. You can add one loop cut like this with the multi cut tool and you can create this kind of cut and just complete that cut in this way. And then you can see now the form looks much more better and now just we need to take the mirror out there. So select all the faces and use the mirror tool and adjust the more threshold. Then hit the control 3 to check the subdivision. Now I need to create a little bit of more topology. You can add this kind of loop cuts then use the redirection of edge loops. So you can create a cut like this and then you can dissolve these edges. You can select these words and you can merge these words at here. And then you can dissolve this H. Just take the symmetry one more time. And now you can see that looks really well. Now just I need to duplicate this part to complete that circular form. You can select that part then control D to duplicate it and just rotate it in a particular angle and complete that circular form. Now select all these parts and then use the combine operation. And now you need to go to the vertex mode and you need to select this H loop and use the merge option. And now just need to merge the words properly by adjusting its merge threshold. You can see now that's look pretty well. Why do we need to merge the words in this way? Because we have combined these different parts together. So there are some extra words and we need to dissolve those extra words. So that's why I need to select these edges and I need to merge the words on these edges. So I can get smoother form at there on the model. So that's why I just need to play with the merge threshold. And now you can see that's look good. So basically we have complete the first and important step for this modeling, which is creating this outer design, which is little bit complicated. And now the remaining part is very simple and easily you can create it. And now I will create a simple looking details add there on the model. I want to create some circular boolean details on the model. So that's why I need to add some loop cuts add there on the model. Then you can select these faces with the shift select. Then use the extrude operation on them and adjust the offset amount. Then shift right click and use the circularize option and adjust the radial offset. And easily you can create circular boolean details at there.
we can create this kind of decent looking hard surface model. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then please hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye bye. See you next video. Take care. Let's go. Yeah. I'm like an addict, ooh, I gotta have it I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit If it moves, gotta grab it Fuse like a magnet, lose, won't have it Till I'm doomed in a casket I ain't playing, got a weird mind If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine